The DNC decided two months ago that they were no longer going to accept money from fossil fuel companies. This was a phenomenal move by the Democratic Party. You know, we're not going to take money from these corporations that are profiting off of the destruction of the planet. But like a, a, a smoker who just can't seem to kick the habit, two months after making this decision, Tom Perez, the chairman of the Democratic Party, this past Friday, introduced a resolution to go ahead and start taking that fossil fuel money back again because they just can't handle the withdrawal symptoms of it. And it overwhelmingly passed. So, hey, once again, the Democratic Party is taking money from fossil fuel companies that are absolutely decimating the planet. So you had a good two month run there where you weren't taking any other money, but I guess now you saw, Hey, there's midterms coming up and there's money to be made for the party. And I want to get my hands on it. I don't want to leave anybody out. Now the official reasoning of Tom Perez and those establishments over at the DNC was that, Hey, we want to just make sure that the, the employees of fossil fuel companies can still give to the democratic party because it wasn't fair to exclude them from it. So we want to make sure that these, these men and women who work there, you know, they're, they're not part of the problem. That's just their job. So they should still be able to give us money. Yeah. Here's the thing. The original draft of the resolution that was passed banning the money, it actually still allowed the employees to give money. So not only are they lying about their reasoning for doing this, but they're actually doing it. The democratic party, as an establishment, as a thing is getting closer and closer to becoming the Republican party. And we saw that in 2016, when the democratic party decided to adopt their platform ahead of the election, they refused to say that they support a ban on fracking, even though they understand that a good portion of, uh, uh, this country and a large majority of people within their party supported bans on fracking. It is incredibly dangerous as it is incredibly polluting. And it's also been linked to an increase in the frequency of earthquakes throughout the United States. This party didn't even have the courage to stand up and say, we don't even like that particular form of energy extraction. And now as what they're calling part of their, all of the above energy approach, they're once again, taking money from the fossil fuel companies. Here's the thing. There's no such thing as an all of the above energy approach doesn't work, doesn't exist. No other country is saying, well, let's, let's drill more. Well, how about we, we burn more coal? How about we frack more? How about we not invest in renewable energy? Please understand this is a uniquely American thing right now. Europe, Asia. Yeah. They're still consuming fossil fuels, but they're at least attempting to switch over to renewables. Some countries have already exceeded the goals that they had set for themselves with the Paris climate accord. But here in the United States, we have one party, the Republicans that deny that climate change exists. And now we have another party that says, yes, it exists. Yes. The fossil fuel companies are, are responsible for it. And yeah, we're sure as hell going to take their money because we're a party of idiots or it's not a party of idiots, but at, at this point it is a party being run by idiots. That is what Tom Perez is. That is what the higher ups at the DNC who voted to accept fossil fuel money are. And anyone who tells you otherwise is trying to sell you something.